Assalamualaikum dear friends. I am Engineer Sepulla and you are watching Seval Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So today I am going to share the eight part of Seval Engineering job interview question and answer for the Seval Site Engineer and QC Engineer. And the important thing that today or today questionnaire is from Aramco. Like all the Aramco standards which we are applying on the Aramco project. So today I am going to share some question and answer from. Aramco standards. So all answers you can say that as per Aramco standards. So the first question is, what is the maximum size of fill and marl? Maximum size of fill. You know, fill mean filling material, back filling material and marl is 75 mm or 7.5 centimeter as per Aramco standard SAES A-114. Second question, what will be the maximum size of select fill or a fruit backfilling material, sand and gravel? It will be 5 cm or 50 mm. The maximum size of sand and gravel and the approved backfilling material or a fruit or selected fill is 50 centi sorry, 5 cm or 50 mm. Third question, which reference number is using? for the Aramco standards for backfilling and excavation. So the reference number of Aramco standard which we use for the backfilling and excavation is SAES-A-114. The fourth question, what will the backfilling material, what will be the thickness of the layer as per Aramco standard before compaction? So the thickness of the layer before compaction is 20 cm or 200 mm as per Aramco standard SAES A 114. The fifth question How much percentage compaction required for the cohesive less soil? Or what will be the dry density for cohesive cohesion less? Sorry, cohesion less soil. So the Compaction percentage for cohesionless soil is 85% as per Aramco standard. The sixth question: What will be the compaction percentage for cohesionless or for the general soil or the approved selected field which we using for Aramco in Aramco projects as per Aramco is 95% as same in other projects non Aramco projects. Now the soil should be compacted 95% as per Aramco standard. The seventh question, water flooding compaction is allowed for which type of material? Water flooding compaction is allowed for which type of material? So water flooding compaction is allowed only for sand, red sand or sand. If you are um, backfilling the area with the red sand or any type of sand, so you can compact it water flooding. It means that you have to put too much water in that area during the backfilling with sand but if you are backfilling the area with soil approved soil so you can just sprinkle the water the water amount should be less as compared to the backfilling by sand so the add the key what is the clear uh, what is the clear space of all side of excavation if you are making are your excavating area so what will be the clear Space sides, space sides in all sides. So during if when you excavate area, the clear space of our side is 60 centimeter or 600 mm. In, in case you are excavating our square area or a putting, so the clear space, like one by one meter, you are excavating. So when you complete excavation, so there will be a clear space of 60 centi between the excavated the, the the specific point and the total excavation so it means you have to provide 60 centi space for the excavation for on all, all sides question number nine what is the minimum depth of select field to be used under foundation as a big filling material the minimum depth of select field select field of root field which will be used under foundation is 600 mm or 60 centimeter. Minimum depth of select fill which will be used under foundation is 600 mm or 60 centimeter. So the 10th question is how much for how much area or what will be the standard area for which you have to conduct a DT test. 
in case you are going to conduct a BT test so what will the standard area or what that you have conducted the, the area standard area as per an specification or standards 90 square meter for each and every 90 square meter you have to conduct a separate FDT test as per Aramco standard SAES-A-114 The 11th question Saudi Aramco specification 09-SAMMS-097 is required to refer for ready make complete If the interviewer asks you during the question that what is the Aramco standard for ready mix concrete like we have ACI code STM code for testing so what is the Aramco standard for ready mix concrete so your answer will be specific 09-SAMMS-097 is the required reference number for the Aramco standard for ready mix concrete the 12th question Uniform building code requirements for reinforced cement concrete is given in which ACI code? The ACI code for uniform building requirements for reinforced cement concrete is ACI 318 meter M. So it means that ACI 318 M is the code of for the uniform building for the reinforcement concrete the 13th question is the concrete specimen shall be checked for 28 days compressive strength according to which code f because this is an important questions a lot of in the interviewer asked this question that concrete specimen when we cast concrete so we have to test the concrete specimen after 28 days for compressive strength so if they ask what is the ASTM code for this so what will be your answer your answer will be ASTM C39 as per ASTM C39 we will check and we will test this concrete specimen after 28 days for the concrete compressive strength guidelines for code for concrete formwork what is the code of as from SCI for formwork the guidelines uh, for the formwork as per SCI code is ACI 347R if in case the interview asks you what is the SCI code which we are using for formwork or on which basis you are making for form work for the concrete structure so you will answer that or all form work should be as per ACI code ACI 347R the 15th question is Saudi Aramco code to be used for designing concrete buildings if the interviewer asks what is the or which one according to which code we are designing the concrete buildings as per Saudi Aramco standards so the reference number for this the designing of concrete buildings as per Saudi Aramco standard is SAES-M-100 the 16th question is minimum design requirement shall comply for concrete retaining structure what according to if you are working in Aramco project or you are going to uh, uh, to, to for interview of Aramco projects and they ask a question that minimum design requirement shall comply for concrete retaining structure wall according to which Aramco standards so your answer will be SAES dash Q dash 009 the design requirement shall comply for concrete structure wall retaining walls will be as per Saudi Aramco standard SAES dash Q dash 009 the 17th question required 28 days compressive sense of structure concrete what will be the concrete uh, the compressive strength of concrete structure are after 28 days 35 mpa or 4000 psi 35 mpa sorry uh, 35 mpa and 4000 psi 18 question slope ratio what is the slope ratio re required while concreting pavement area to catch basins if you are concreting for catch basins so what will be the slope area the slope area for catch basin is 1 ratio 6 5 the slope ratio for concreting or casting concrete for the kitchen uh, catch basin is 1 ratio 6 5 question number 19 
control or control joints and filaments located in both directions shall be what will be the uh, location of control joints and filament and control or control joints and filament located in both directions shall be 6 meter so it means that between two control joints the distance will be 6 meter if you are making concreting for pavements and there should be control joints and pavements to prevent uh, cracks so the distance minimum distance between two control joints is 6 meter the last question is type of cement used for concrete export to sulfur if you are uh, casting concrete and there is a sulfur the concrete exposed to sulfur so which type of cement you will use which type of cement you, you will use for that concrete so this type of cement which you will use for the concrete is type 1 type 1 cement will be used if there is a sulfur thank you so much for watching share the video with your friends like the video and if you are a new viewer please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much